That house is such a collector's item with each room full of vintage memories. The cards of Billy's father, my dear son, proved only a preliminary tease. When young George here recently pointed out the current price values of baseball cards, it reminded me of Billy's father. Memories of his collection were just. Young George told me to forget my son's cards. He relayed sad news that they had been sold. Worries of rent money had dropped my card. The cards went to Billy. The rest been told. We have patiently tried to conceal pertinent details. Though you're so bright, you probably figured it out somehow. We're ready to unfold. Our curious story for you. Should we apologize if you determined it by now? It's difficult to keep a secret from observant eyes. So terribly demanding, and we hope you realize that ideas to follow be myrtle sincere attempt to straighten up this mess, lest you should think you're planning now. Your grandson had only forty dollars as a total for his inheritance. Are you not in truth restraining pleasure, relating the story slowly perchance, while thinking about those collectibles, sorting boxes of treasures and trash, made me remember that my son's father, my husband, saved them, and had quite a stash, bingo buried in the attic I found. A large trunk filled to the top with cardboard. Other than gasp for joy, made no sound. There were huge piles of them neatly stored. We have patiently tried to conceal pertinent details. Though you're so bright, you probably figured it out somehow. We're ready to unfold our curious story for you. Should we apologize if you determined it by now? It's difficult to keep a secret from observant eyes. So terribly demanding, and we hope you realize that ideas to follow be myrtle sincere attempt to straighten out this mess, lest you should think you're planning out. Myrtle called for me about two o'clock. After loading a car, we made some stops. By three, she was wealthy, although in shock at what dealers gladly paid for her stock. We stopped at the courthouse before it closed. She straightened out all her legal affairs. A trip to the bank to pay bills arose. Their payment ended. All of Myrtle's cares. You see, there have been three generations of baseball card collectors in that home. John Simmons, Myrtle's husband, was the first. Do not explain, I already know them. That house is such a collector's item, with each room full of vintage memories. The cards of Billy's father, my dear son, proved only a preliminary tease.